In this video I'll show you how to read an inch based pipe schedule and how to make sense of the data in it. Why would we need a pipe schedule? First off, you need to calculate the weight of pipes. And the pipes might be on a truck or in a crate and they are to be lifted and before they are lifted you need to rig it up for overhead hoisting and before you do that you need to know how much they weigh whether the light duty web slings or the heavy duty chains will do the job you need to know before you lift and no you can't put the pipes on a scale one at a time that's not gonna work you will also install pipes in overhead hangers and you need to know again how much the pipes weigh to make sure you have enough hangers to carry the weight and uh, you will also have to calculate the pipes with water in them because you don't install pipes just for good looks there's gonna be water or something in them and you will find the data in a pipe schedule you will find all the data for all of these calculations manufacturers make these pipe schedules and uh, these pipe schedules adhere to standards manufacturers are not at liberty to make any size of pipe they feel like let's look at a standard pipe schedule here from a manufacturer and this is just my paperweight here and let's look at the data in it first is size of pipe and this in this column you can see one eighth one quarter half inch pipe one inch pipe whatever different sizes and there's a second page to it too next column to it you see OD that stands for outside diameter the outside diameter on a pipe is taken like so this one is about three and uh, one and three quarters or so so that would be the pipes outside diameter if you look at the numbers here though there's a problem the OD amounts the outside diameter amounts are all decimal inches in fact all of the numbers in white squares are all decimal inches if you need to refresh your memory on the concept of decimal inches take a look at uh, uh, one of my titles in the let me see it's uh, it's titled converting fractions to decimal inches or something like that and it's in the metric and imperial playlist so for example uh, this 0 0.504 inches 0. Point, we'll just round it down to 0 0.5 inches 0 0.5 inches you know it's half an inch yet this is a quarter inch pipe don't worry about it you don't need a lesson in history why it is so just deal with it this nominal size of the pipe doesn't really correspond but somewhat relates to the actual size of the pipe these amounts here are the actual size of the sizes of the pipes and any pipe schedule you look at the numbers will be decimal digits all of this will be decimal inches okay so get used to decimal inches here you can see 1.1 inches it's a little over an inch say inch and a sixteenth or something like that and that's the pipes nominal size it's a three-quarter inch pipe so that's how these first two columns work that's how to make sense out of it the up here in the heading you can see schedule 5 schedule 10 schedule 20 that's how to read these standard standard is the same as schedule for, uh, 40 you can see that the amounts are the same schedule 60 80 or extra heavy and there is oopsie, and there is some more schedule numbers there what are these schedule numbers the schedule numbers or you can see the schedule numbers are going up and they refer to the wall thicknesses of of pipes let me just zoom out so you can see this one is side by side oh this one is aluminum and this one is steel this this pipe schedule is uh, for uh, steel pipes 
but uh, just for just to capture the concept of uh, difference in wall thickness look at the difference in wall thickness on these two pipes one is obviously skinnier this one this one has a heavier wall so the one with a heavier wall this one is stronger that's why they make pipes in different schedules let's zoom back in and you can see that in a given size of pipe say let's say half an inch pipe you can see that the schedule 5 wall thickness is less than the schedule 10 wall thickness and the schedule 40 wall thickness is even more schedule 80 wall thickness is even more and uh, schedule 160 wall thickness is even more so you get the idea thicker thicker the wall the heavier the wall the stronger the pipe it is also in this pipe schedule is the weight of a pipe per foot okay so let's look at one inch pipe here one foot this is how to read this one foot of let me see if I can fit it in a frame. One foot of Schedule 10 pipe weighs 1.4 pounds. So you come down in this column where it says Schedule 10, and you go in the in in the row where it says one inch pipe, and it's 1.404 pounds. These are decimal pounds again. They are not in pounds and ounces. Uh, but uh, you will work perfectly fine with decimal pounds here. Let's look at another example, say quarter, in quarter inch pipe, standard. How much does it weigh a foot? There is standard pipe, there is the quarter inch row, and you go in the quarter inch row until it meets the standard column there. So a quarter inch pipe, one foot of it weighs 0 0.425 pounds that's how to read a pipe schedule there are different pipe schedules as well with additional data in it let me just show you another layout and in this one you will see the same thing the size of pipe in inches and one eighth one inch pipe two and a half inch pipe and you will see the actual outside diameter of the pipe here again listed let's go back to this one just for practice's sake and to make sense of the decimal digits uh, this one is inch and seven eighths I, there it's sharp inch and seven eight seven eighths so just a little bit under two inches so let's find what kind of pipe this actually is outside measurement was just a hair under two inches there 1.9 inches inch and seven eighths is about 1.9 inches so therefore this inch is called an inch and a half pipe I know it's almost two inches yet it's not called a two inch pipe because the two inch pipe is about it's it's a 2.25 would be two and a quarter inches so it's a little more okay it's not a two inch pipe this is an inch and a half pipe because it was about inch and seven eighths or 1.9 inches so that would be the outside measurement the inside measurements don't try to measure the inside of a pipe which would be from this face to this face it's really finicky with a tape measure here on this picture that's what I mean by inside measurement so from inside face to inside face and that's what I mean by outside measurement from outside face to outside face so don't try this at home it's finicky and you're gonna be wrong and uh, that's why you have a pipe schedule again here is wall thicknesses it, it, this table here doesn't have any schedules just wall thicknesses for standard pipe it's it's got a column of data <coughs> for the inside area and this is what they mean by inside area they're the uh, cross hatched area that I drew here using this there you can see that's what's meant by inside area it's it's footprint but not the footprint of the actual wall of the pipe it's the footprint of the hollow where there's nothing and weight again in pounds for every foot of length and again you can see that a one inch pipe 
has a weight of 1.68 pounds if it's schedule 40 because this table works for schedule 40 pipes only so there's a couple of different formats in the layout of these tables you will probably see a different one in your trades training manual but that would be the idea what uh, the information means in these pipe schedules